can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to another video and today we're actually heading over to the shop to work on the 650i. The 650i is looking absolutely immaculate. Let's get it down there, make it perfect. One of the headlights is completely out so we want to get that fixed. We have a mod in the interior that's finally going to make this whole car pull together. We have a whole bunch of mods but in this video I'm going to be focusing on the mod you guys see from the title which is Oz's steering wheel. You guys know that my favorite mod for every car is a steering wheel. I didn't want to install a steering wheel so we actually finished the wrap so it actually looks super good together because it's a red stripe and everything. So just head down to the shop. I'm gonna get my, my douchey glasses, put the top down, and just put on one of my most favorite mods for every car. And this is Nora in the future, so what's up guys? I just wanna give a huge special shout out to everyone that's purchased something to be a part of this build. If you guys wanna be shouted out in the next video, make sure to check out the merch store down below. If you spend $20 or more, you'll be featured on the plaque for the 650i that's getting made. So you guys, your name is gonna be officially on the plaque. It's gonna be up in the shop. So if you guys wanna be part of that, check out the merch store down below. You purchase anything from the store, $20 or more, and you're good to go and you're also supporting your man so huge shout out so huge shout out to ruben dorado abdel castro julio arias david x huge shout out to charles baker dude you killed it man thank you for the support and also huge shout out to james poston jr thank you so much for supporting the channel and another shout out to james poston bro you 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 you've helped out a lot my man thank you so much shout out to Miles bonda michael whaley sim arrest me arrest me hopefully i didn't butcher that and Raymond Chen, shout out to all you guys. Anywho, back to my past stuff. Glasses on, let's get going. Start up. Okay. Guys, this thing sounds so freaking good. Oh, and we're completely out of gas. Also, then I realized I keep getting a coolant light. I think maybe the coolant sensor has gone bad. This car has been sitting. A lot of the sensors have gone bad, so I think it might need a new coolant sensor. It's not leaking any coolant. The coolant reservoir looks good. Let's go ahead and actually pop the coolant reservoir just to make sure. Popping this sucker open. The engine bay needs a detailing for sure. Oh, actually, it does need coolant. All right, well, we need to put in some coolant. All right, guys, after putting in some coolant, I realized right there, I don't know if you guys can see it, right down there on the ground, it is actually dripping coolant as I literally, I clearly witnessed it drip, dripping coolant right now. So we do have a small coolant leak. You guys see that? Let me see if I can get another drop going. Three, two, one. Come on. Yep, there you go. So I have a, I have a coolant leak right there, unfortunately. So yeah, this car, is it, it's, it's a pretty big project, but um, I think it's worth it. I love the car. It looks pretty beautiful. I think that's all that matters. Let's go ahead and get this thing to shop, diagnose it, fix everything we can today, and hopefully this coolant leak is uh, no big deal. If it's a water pump, it's gonna be some money. Guys, it is the summertime and nothing beats a drop top in the summer. This feels super dope. Also, we are completely out of fuel. If you guys look at the dashboard, we need to get some gas in this sucker. It's, I think it's almost a five point, I think it's a 4.8 liter V8. Uh, yeah, this is gas guzzling though. It's all good though, it's all good though. We're enjoying life, we're having a good time, so uh, it's worth it, it's worth it. Let's go ahead and get some gas, and then we can finally get to the shop. Officially at my favorite place for gas, the Costco gas station. Let's get some gas, boys. the shop uh looks like the, what's his name john is here so uh, we're gonna say what's up to john and we get straight to work on the 650 and guys just like that we are officially at the shop look at it it looks so freaking good so now uh let's go ahead and get it inside and just start working on some little things and we get to the bigger things because i mean come on we want to do the most satisfying thing in the end so that's the last thing we got to do and then drive this sucker home and obviously we have a lot of things to do to it so if you guys look from the front of the car the halos the actual daytime running and the turn signal uh, they all work and even the side marker this just stays on on this side literally it's smoked out i don't know what's going on uh, but this bulb doesn't work so we're gonna have to replace that halos don't even work the resistor on this side doesn't work so i, I ordered all that let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and fix that headlight so both sides are working and then also have new halos so instead of like this orange looking halo we're actually gonna have white halos so let's go ahead and just replace all these bulbs and hope to god everything's good to go all right guys so uh from the house i noticed a small little coolant leak from here i don't know what's over here that can leak coolant so i guess we're just gonna have to look around this line looks good nothing here um i guess i'm gonna put you guys in time lapse let's go ahead and see if you can figure this out All right, guys, so I'm starting to think that could possibly be AC that I was leaking earlier, but I know the coolant keeps going low, so I guess I have to just keep an eye on it. It was somewhere from over here, but I just don't see it, so it's kind of weird. Anywho, 
Um, in terms of the oil situation, when you guys told me that there's a gasket up there above the alternator, the alternator and the AC pump. So basically, I, I, you guys are telling me there's two gaskets there, I need to replace them because all the oil is coming from above the oil pan. So I think that's what it is. And there's so much oil, oh my God, guys. So uh, we'll go ahead and look into that, order some gaskets and get those fixed. Meantime though, car is perfect. It does drive and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and fix these headlights so your man doesn't get pulled over. So this is the one we just pulled out of the car, guys. This is the new one. Well, it's technically used, but new for us, so uh, this should do the trick. Alright guys, moment of truth, we just put in the new resistor, hopefully that's going to fix our bulb right here and at least turn on our low beam so during the night we can see um, if that fixes one of the three errors, that would be perfect. Alright guys, moment of truth, I don't know if this is the one, but let's go ahead and try it and there is nothing. So maybe I need to actually turn on the car, hopefully, hopefully. Works, so that's perfect, and this side works as well. So, all we're gonna need now is to fix the halos. Like, that's next. Actually, no, let's go ahead and fix the turn signal so both sides match, and then we'll fix the halos because that's not as important as the turn signals. Giving a compliment, I'm yours if you need a friend. Yeah, yeah, fake one, staying until the end. Yeah, I know how to play with it. All right guys, so I just put in a new bulb for the turn signal. So I think now let's just go ahead, turn on the headlights and just see if this bulb right here I just replaced is the bad one or there's something actually wrong with this. I think it's most likely just the bulb. There's no modules to this whatsoever. So I'm hoping this bulb is good. And other than that, everything should work other than the halo. That's at least what we're expecting. So let's hope to God, turn on the headlights and everything works here. As you guys can see, this light stopped working again. And uh, I think it has to do with the actual wiring, I'm, I'm assuming. And then the turn signal is still not working. That's super weird. The rest of the turn signal works, is that one bulb does not want to work. I'm thinking there's some kind of wiring issue there. Um, let's go ahead and figure out why that daytime running stopped working as well. I just found out we can get the turn signal bulb out from back here instead of removing the whole fender like I did last time. So we're gonna go ahead, remove the other side and try it on this side. And if this actually works, the wiring is good, the bulb is bad. If the bulb doesn't work, then the wiring's bad. So hopefully it's not the wiring, we just have to get a new bulb. Um, as for this side, uh, these wires look pretty bad. I think maybe they're touching. Uh, so I'm gonna put some electrical tape around them and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in one more time. I just swapped this bulb over to the other side and I also just swapped off the resistors. So let's hope to God um, this headlight still works and that one starts working. I have no idea. I'm just, I really don't know what the hell is going on anymore. Let's just go ahead and try this. So I moved the new resistor to this side and this bulb started working and I moved the old resistor to this side and this bulb still doesn't want to work. So I'm starting to think that bulb already blew, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna have to get a new bulb there. Um, the wiring seems to be good because the turn signal is working, this bulb right here. So, uh, well, I think it's a daytime running as well. So I will, will need a new one on this side and other than that yeah unfortunately I think there's something gone wrong with the actual bulb itself that sucks I think it already blew out unfortunately so for the meantime guys uh, let's just go ahead and just replace the halos that one's orange and I mean I have new white ones for both sides let's go ahead and just do that and hopefully these will work unlike the daytime running lights I might head down to AutoZone and just get a new replacement but uh we'll see so I just pulled out the halo this is the original halo this is the one that's working that doesn't look anything like the ones I ordered. So I'm going to have to send these back, unfortunately, which sucks because uh, obviously I was hoping I have both headlights 100% fixed, but it looks like that bulb burnt out. I need a turn signal bulb and now I still need halos. So uh, it is what it is. At least we tried the best we can do. I still need to get fog lights as well. This car is being a pain in the ass when it comes to lighting, but at least one of them works. I'm able to drive this thing home tonight. All right, guys, so I think the next thing on our bucket list is going to have to be the steering wheel. So let's go ahead and uh, lower this car all the way down and start working on that bad boy. The car looks so good, guys. I'm probably going to end up doing a Splitter, some sight. I'm gonna do something pretty crazy with this. I know there's a you know a casual Ferrari just chilling there. It's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. But um I'm I'm a bigger fan of Lambos, not gonna lie. Anywho, let's go ahead and install something that I've been trying to install for the longest time. 
but it's finally time for it. So let's go ahead and get the car off the lift and I'll show you guys the new steering wheel from Ozza Wheels. All right guys, it's off the lift. Let's go ahead and just move it up a little bit. Something I don't like about this car, it locks itself and you guys saw the keys were inside the car. So I'm probably gonna try to code that out so I don't lock my keys inside the car. We definitely need a red push button start guys. This is looking terrible. I just finally unboxed that steering wheel guys. I know we're all waiting for it. Say hello to Dragon and it's new steering wheel from Ozza. Check this puppy out. M Sport steering wheel, stitching all the way around. I already touched this a few times with my dirty hands, so uh, I probably look at a few dirty starts here. That's because of me. M stitching all the way around, and it looks insane. It looks absolutely brand new. Let's go ahead and install this bad boy. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. Uh, with the old, this is a heated steering wheel, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna get rid of it because the car comes with heated options. And just in case, you know, we're trying to have a heated steering wheel for a cold winter, we have the option. Lo and behold, the new steering wheel. I'm super hyped for this. Go ahead and install it. Guys, a steering wheel changes the whole feel of the car because literally this is what you're touching the entire time. If you guys want a good deal on a steering wheel from Ozzo, check out the link down below. Guys, check that out. I'm gonna go wash my hands before I start touching the steering wheel. I'm gonna be using Shine Armor to detail my interior, my steering wheel, and all that good stuff. If you guys want these products, make sure to check out my link down below. And I also have a discount code, so use that discount code, get some savings. Now let's go ahead and clean our interior then. And just like that, guys, check it out. We have the steering wheel in the car. It looks so good check out the details guys that stitching looks like from the factory i can't believe they can even do this this is insane you guys look at the buttons everything is like restored brand new condition this is just specks of dirt that i just put on the car i went ahead and cleaned the airbag i got all the dirt off of the airbag and uh that looks really good look at that stripe as well to match the wrap let's just see i'm gonna have a good time driving home today all right guys go up roll up the windows so i can show you guys the next thing i just want to go ahead and fix on this car so i'm still waiting on a few more parts to perfect this car i'm gonna have to reorder a bunch of bulbs I'm I'm going to go ahead and order some paint because uh, that's what we're going to need for the wheels. I'm also going to order some things to the trunk because we need it. And some more things for the interior. You saw with this beautiful steering wheel, we do need something to fix this situation right here. So I'm going to go ahead, wrap the sides in Alcantara and wrap the center in gloss black wrap. I've seen my friend do this. I think I can go ahead and try to do this as well. I do have to sand this down some terrible shape. But if this will match this, I think it'll look absolutely insane. I am completely out of red push button starts. I'm going to have to order a red push button. This black one is shot. As you guys can see, it, look, it just looks really bad. But yeah, guys, I want to fix all these water stains. Go ahead and bring this car back to life. Oh my God. So far, I think the transformation is coming together real well. Let me know down below, guys. If you guys think this is looking pretty damn good. I think, I think it looks really good. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, fix those windows. All right, clearly acetone's not working, guys. What the hell? This thing is on there. As you guys can see, acetone didn't work, but uh, this stuff actually did. So I have this link down below if you guys want to use this as well. John's first time looking at the steering wheel inside the car. Is it nice? It's too nice. <laughs> Is it, isn't it not bad considering how much I got it for? It's coming together. It looks so good. Yeah, that too. Oh my god. So yeah, guys, pretty much in the next video, hopefully we get all the bulbs, the trunk pieces should get here, and we'll get together on the other mod. So as for now, guys, um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. I know it's kind of short, but um, maybe tomorrow I'll add a little bit more to it. But as for now, I'm going to go ahead and try to get the exhaust stuff together. I'm going to go ahead and get the suspension stuff together, the spacers, all that good stuff. We're really trying to modify this car as much as possible. For those of you guys who are fasting, you guys know that I think it's like three or four more days and we're finished with the fasting. I'm a whole lot weaker now. I need to go home. I just need to rest up a little bit more. Hopefully once, hopefully once this month is over i've been able to gain my energy and film as much as i want but as for now guys i need to go home and get some rest so i appreciate you all so much but without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out